Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where together as a team we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'm going to be picking up right where we left off the last video where I was obviously in a short trade expecting lower on the Bitcoin chart after recognizing the massive weakness from that trade obviously showed you the short trade that I was in over on Bybit. Over the past 12 hours alone, that has made another $100,000 profit. With that trade currently sat in $210,000 profit with a realized profit after hitting my take profit one percentage of 1.4 Bitcoin and that's $26,000 profit. So overall, we're pushing nearly a quarter of a million dollars in just a few days of trading. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be giving you the full rundown and update of this trade, what I'm looking to do next, and how I'm looking this price action to play out over the next few days going into the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, as you hopefully know by now, you need to pay full attention to this video. I'm going to be giving you all the information that you need to know right now and the very important levels to come. So let's just go straight into the video. That's what you're here for, and it's the technical analysis that I provide. So I'm going to keep this one short, sweet, and professional. Of course, I am actively trading this right now. And a few things that I want to start off with. Of course, I'm going to be going over some very important levels. Uh, but I want to start off with a tweet that I actually made yesterday, before this drop to the downside, by the way. And it was this tweet here, talking about, you know, I really believe the dollar is going to go higher. And this, is t this in turn, is going to bring down the price of Bitcoin. Short and chill on Bitcoin. I will short any bounces that come. I believe the bear market is still in full force and will not end until CC Pool close their short trades. Please, please make sure you are prepared for what is to come. Well, 24 hours later, we see another 5% drop to the downside. And once again, the predictions that I'm making are extremely accurate here. Of course, you all know, <laughs> shorted the $69,000 all-time high. And back there in November, you know, the, the, the high was put in on November the, the 11th, right? On November the 11th, sorry, the November the 10th, obviously, we were tweeting out, well, 95% of the world were bullish, looking for plus $70,000, looking for the breakout longs. We were taking our short trades from the $69,000 zone. Feel free to tag the moon, boys. And obviously, from that $69,000 high, still remain in those short trades from $69,000. So for my swing trades, I'm still in shorts. Then on the local term time frame, I'm still in short trades, making profits across the board on these trades. I just want you to fully understand why I knew we were going lower and now the levels that we're currently bouncing off of. So first of all, I will start off with, well, why I, why I really thought we were going to go lower. Of course, I'm giving all these updates first over in the Discord. And inside of my read only coaches only channel, I was telling to my team, we'd obviously seen a few swing failure patterns throughout the day, right? We'd seen swing failure, swing failure, swing failure. And I was telling my team, okay, we need to know when to take a swing failure pattern and when to not. And this is a little bit of a golden nugget that I'll share with you all. Okay. And I told my team, I did not trade this swing failure pattern or take profits on my shorts. Why? On the order flow, there is no trap shorts. We also have front run the daily. So yes, we got a bounce from the swing failure pattern. But I decide when to take a trade and not the market. And if I don't see enough reasons to trade, I remain patient for lower. Okay, obviously that's my preferred scenario is that we go lower or a reclaim. I always have to be aware of the reclaim scenario, but my preferred scenario is lower. So obviously over the past few days, we can see that we've been forming many of these type kind of swing failure pattern, swing failure pattern, swing failure pattern. But when you look at the order flow, which I obviously refer to over on here, which now we are primarily looking at EXO. Um, but of course, this is just because I'm on my laptop at the moment. If I'm at home, I am primarily looking now at Atus, which is a platform similar to EXO, but in our opinion, much more advanced and just much more helpful overall at the moment. Also, it's free for cryptocurrency, so that's a, an advantage that my, a lot of people like. But anyway, not to get distracted here. Over the past few days, we would continuously seen these crazy, massive, bearish CVD divergences. I mean, even before this drop that we've seen, just please look at this, just massive off the charts bearish CVD divergences. So we're seeing massive bearish CDV divergences while just going sideways here. That's leaning us, of course, bearish bias, expecting lower prices. That's how I can be tweeting with so much confidence. You know, I have thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching my every single move. You know for sure if I had got this wrong and we had pumped it today, I would have had a lot of hate. I know it for sure. But I was very confident on my analysis. I'm putting my money where my mouth is and I was expecting lower and lower we got. How was I so confident on that? Well, I'm looking actually at the macro <laughs> picture. I'm looking at other markets for my confluence. I'm looking at the dollar. I'm looking at the stock market. 
I'm even looking at some fundamentals right now in terms of what's going on in the world. And of course, the mo most important thing for me was just reading this order flow, once again, reading it correctly, recognizing, wow, this is just crazy bearish <laughs> and well, lower we got. Obviously, now what we're seeing is a lot of shorts opening down at the very low. So, of course, we are going to be looking for a local bounce here. That is over 15, you know, we got 17 million shorts opening in this candle with a lot actually opening down at the low around the low you can see quite a you know quite a lot of millions opening down here i mean look at this candle alone this is crazy amount of volume this is really high volume okay um <laughs> this is like a 234 million dollar candle with 17 million negative open interest i'm sorry 17 million negative delta with an open interest increase so this this is you know quite a uh, you know large candle to the downside and actually going to swing the failure pattern so when i zoom out here and this is one where we got trapped shorts at the low so this is a much different than this swing failure pattern which was like you know never going to take a long off of that but this swing failure pattern is actually more valid because you have done a major swing failure pattern and you do have the trap traders at the low, right? So locally, we can be looking for this little bounce to the upside, which is currently occurring, right? And there's a few levels that we can be looking to take this up to next. First of all, I'll be looking at the VWAP, which is coming in at 18.620 currently. So this would be our first level of resistance here locally. And this is going to be in confluence when we look here at the CC. Okay, so we have our local CC here in with the VWAP, in with around our high HVN. So we have a few levels of confluence here. Of course, we got to be expecting a local bounce. Why are we expecting the local bounce? It's because of all the trap shorts that we have at the low. So we get the little squeeze to the upside, and then my next decision will be made and my next trade off of do we reject at this next level of resistance or do we simply reclaim that resistance as support? Ladies and gentlemen, I will always tell you this is a level to level trading game. Okay, level to level. What that means is I have my levels marked out and I'm really simply judging the reaction. At this low, we actually hit an NPOC. From that NPOC, we got a bounce and just look at that daily level was back tested to the absolute dollar. I wonder who compounded on this, right? <laughs> Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, but yeah, that was a compound of the exact dollar high off of the daily. And that is like when you see weakness and you judge it, you come down, you test an NPOC, you get a move to the upside to back test the daily to the absolute dollar, and you come back down for that swing failure pattern, giving you trap shorts at the low. From this, you start to get your bounce underway. Okay, and we're looking to retest the VWAP. Um, so for me, that's the way that I'm judging this now. I'll be judging it off of the strength of the back test of the VWAP and the CC locally on that HVM. OK, from that, I'll even make an I will make an informed decision based off of the order flow. That's 100 percent what I'm going to be doing. And my decision will be if we reclaim that level, then I can look back up towards nineteen thousand dollars. OK, if we reject off that level, then I'm going to be looking for a lower retest back down, potentially a retest of that swing fire pattern of this low. OK, for me, now is a time to remain a little bit patient. I would not personally be taking a trade here. I would be waiting for that slightly higher price. Or, or lower okay um and th this is really honestly my team this is how a professional comes in and they understand this market you have to truly understand this is a level to level trading environment eg we do our technical analysis we mark out our levels once that level is hit we judge the reaction okay eg we're looking at the order flow and we're making informed decisions are there trap traders what's the open interest looking like what's the delta looking like real simply are we seeing a reaction from a visible candlestick standpoint as well this is also a valid way to judge a reaction okay as well as of course doing this on bitcoin i'm doing the same on the dxy right now with shout out to the help of eagle and of course the stock market so when the stock market is falling down we're expecting bitcoin to fall down and now you can see the stock market rising and getting a rally and what's happening on bitcoin it's rising and getting its local rally so it's it's very correlated these assets are very correlated and i've I think I've made this extremely clear over the past few weeks. It really is helping me learn, you know, and it's really helping me, you know, even understand the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's really helping me understand the, um, oh, my mind has gone blank of the word, understanding the correlations. That's the word I'm looking for, the correlations between these assets, because, you know, for me, these this correlation is live and well, and I'm, I'm looking for this rally to, to the VWAP. And when I look at this stock market here, side by side, you know, I got to expect this rally to the VWAP. This is obviously coming into the local CC now. Okay, so the stock market is coming into the local CC. So we can look for this next rise to the upside here on Bitcoin. I'm pretty sure we'll get it. And then from there, I'm going to make my next informed decision of my next trade. Of course, if you want those updates live in the time, that's what the Discord is for over at chartchampions.com, where you get access to the read-only channels, where you get access to the live trading streams. 
which of course we now have if you want the live trading. And of course, uh, the last contenders live stream for the educational material was all about Atus. If you want to learn about Atus, uh, that's our new tool that we're using. This is basically can replace TradingView, it can replace ExoCharts, it can replace your even your trading platform. You can do everything all in one place and it's free for crypto. So if you want to learn about Atus trading, that's where you get all the new templates totally designed from the ground up. We've released a whole bunch of new templates for you that I mean in itself is hours and hours and hours of work we got all the educational content over on the website if you want to learn how I'm reading this market how I'm understanding these trades how I'm getting the predictions right time and time again and then if you want the updates in the time in the discord of course that's also for the champions so everything you could ever need over at chartchampions.com right now I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this video hope I've given you some insights into why I was expecting lower yesterday based off the order flow while well, i was expecting higher today based off of those well locally higher based off of those trap shorts okay and now we're getting that rally up into the vwap so ladies and gentlemen i hope that you thoroughly have enjoyed this video i am going to need to go because i i, I really honestly do not actively need to trade this um so yeah i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed if you've enjoyed hit that like button subscribe for more updates Sorry this one was a little bit quick, but I hope, I'm sure you can appreciate I do need to go back and trade this and uh, give updates over in the Discord. So yeah, cheers everybody. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in the next video and uh, have a good day. Thank you and goodbye. Of course, I'll end actually with the disclaimer. No financial advice. It's just an entertainment educational video only. And the trades, of course, are on a paper, paper demo trade account. Cheers everybody. Thank you and goodbye.